is a very exciting day because you guessed it, we're going on another foodie adventure, this time in Hollywood Studios, so come along with me. It is a beautiful day here in Hollywood Studios and it is even more beautiful because the Fantasmic Dining Package has just returned and we have one booked. I absolutely cannot wait to eat some food and watch my favorite nighttime show here at Disney World, Fantasmic. We'll get into that Fantasmic Dining Package just a little bit later. First, there is a new snack here in Hollywood Studios. It's a savory one and I absolutely cannot wait to try it. So I think that's the first order of business. Right next to the Tower of Terror here, here is Fairfax Fair and here is a look at the brand new menu they've added a bunch of waffle bowls and I am so excited to try them if you have been following along for a while you know I'm a fan of savory snacks and I am so excited to see a savory addition here they have a buffalo chicken bowl a beef brisket bowl a pork belly bowl and a soba noodle salad bowl I just placed my mobile order and I ordered the buffalo chicken the pork and the brisket one and I do want to point something out. They said that they cannot modify anything. So unfortunately I had to get the buffalo chicken bowl with the coleslaw on it. And again, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I cannot do mayo. So I ordered it for the sake of you guys. I'm gonna to have to kind of pick around it because if anything has mayo on it, I cannot be eating that. So a good thing I have some friends here that are gonna try it out and hopefully review it for you guys because I don't know if I will if it's covering everything. I am looking at them making them in there and from the looks of it the portion size is extremely extremely small for about $15 so not sure how this one is gonna turn out here. All right so we got all of our bowls here and thank god I have some friends to share them with because oh. I couldn't do this alone. A little old us? <laughs> oh, we'll help you eat some bowls. Good we have Promise, her friend Britt, and then oh, Maria. Yeah. I won't make don't worry Ashlyn I won't show you but Maria's <laughs> here to help us eat as well. I don't know which one to start with here. I might start with the one I'm most scared to try which is the buffalo chicken because of that mayo -y coleslaw on there. I gotta I gotta get a piece of the, the corner of the chicken without that coleslaw. Alright so I managed to find a little nuggy here without any coleslaw. Don't worry that is mashed potatoes not coleslaw. <laughs> it has been fully inspected but I don't think I can do much more with that so I'm just gonna try the little buffalo nuggy here. Tastes like a really good boneless wing. I do like it. Not sure why you need the waffle bowl for it or the mashed potatoes. It would have been good with like mac and cheese or something else underneath, but it is a good buffalo nugget. <laughs> and now I think it's time to try the, the pork belly one. In my mm. opinion, this one looks the best out of all of them. So I am really excited to try this one here. Okay, and for the final one, the one Promise is most excited I'm like, for. I'm like, please let me try it. <laughs> She's been waiting a while. I for love this brisket, one. man. But this has brisket, corn chips, jalapenos, so we're gonna dig into this. We got everything on the fork. It is time to try the brisket. The brisket, shockingly good. <laughs> Promise is very excited to hear. I love the crunch of the corn chips with it. I don't know, this one's giving the Korean pork belly a run for its money. All right, so I just finished trying all three of the new waffle bowls, and I wanna give you guys my ranking and my opinion on them. So the buffalo chicken one I thought was probably my least favorite of them. It was literally just chicken nuggets tossed in buffalo sauce over mashed potatoes. And it was like $15 almost, and it only came with four chicken nuggets. So I definitely don't think that one is worth it at all. You can pretty much get like, uh, adult kids nugget meal for like ten dollars and it comes with eight nuggets and fries so I definitely think the buffalo chicken one is not the way to go um, that was my least favorite of the three and then number two I'd go with the beef brisket I actually liked it a lot more than I thought I thought the beef was very good and it paired well with the mashed potatoes um, and then number one the Korean pork belly. It was really good. I really like the sauce, the sweet and soy sauce um, that the pork belly and the veggies were over. That one was my number one. Do I think any of them were worth $15? No, the portion sizes were very small, but definitely very excited to see a savory food here added to one of the menus. Um, not sure if I'd get them again, but definitely a fun treat. In the news of food, I do want to point out that there is another new snack here. A gelato cart has appeared in front of Muppet Vision. And I think it's like the same gelato that they have in Disney Springs. And it is very pricey. I looked over at the prices. One scoop is 7 dollars 
So I think I'm skipping out on this one. They do have a flavor of the day, which is pumpkin cheesecake, which sounds really good. But at that price point, I can't really justify it. But if you guys are in the mood for some gelato, come over by Muppet Vision. We just made our way into Galaxy's Edge and I think Maria is going to equip us with some blue and green milk. Let's see what she got me. Maria has gotten me a green milk with tequila. Now you can get your milk um, kind of spiked. You could get blue milk with rum or green milk with tequila. And I know I'm in the minority here, guys, but I am team green milk. I think it's better. Add that tequila on top, what can be wrong? And it does look like all the alcohol is on top, so I'm gonna have to give this bad boy a stir before I take a sip. Promise? Yeah. Do we stir it for you? Blue milk? Yeah, stir stir me. Oh, oh, stir yours. Okay. Stir me. All right, that'll be $10, ma'am. <laughs> there you, you go. So, blue milk? So I'm a blue milk gal. I like to keep it classic. It does make it a little more liquidy, adding the rum. Is it rum or vodka? Yours is rum. Ooh. Mine yes. is tequila. Well, that's good too. That makes the green milk better, the fact uh. that you have tequila. <laughs> Promise is taking some of my green milk right. for her blue milk. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> That's Star Wars art. That's Star Wars art right there. You can taste Genius. the difference already. Genius. Time to sip. Green milk is just so much more tropical-y to me. I feel like there's a good like hint of like mango and pineapple in here. I don't know. I honestly don't even, I can't even tell you what this tastes like. It tastes like a tropical fruit smoothie with tequila and I like green. Now, of course you can get the milks here without any alcohol in them. They do serve them without alcohol for a lot cheaper too. Um, so if you have any kiddos, if you don't drink, you can always get yourself a blue or green milk too. And Maria has the perfect crew neck to drink our ready. milks in a Millennium Falcon crew neck. If you guys wanna shop, it's on Shop LBB. Thank and you. she chose the correct color of milk here. That's the right. best color, team, cheers. Team green. We have finished our green and blue milk, and now it's time for our dining reservation here at 50's Prime Time. And this restaurant is so much fun. It's like old school theming. The wait staff can really make or break your experience here. And I'm so excited to be here with friends because this should be a good time. We have made our way in and we are sitting right under one of the famous TVs. The decor in here is just absolutely incredible. Thank you, Promise. Oh, please continue serving. Let me show you knife two, knife two. Let me introduce you. Thank you. So we just sat down. They put me they put me in the corner here. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Shout out to Nate. That's his that's his uh, saying there. Um, but we just put in our food orders and everything on the menu looks really good. I had a really hard time choosing what to get. They have a uh, chicken pot pie that looks incredible. I love pot pie. They have a uh, sampling where you can get fried chicken, pot, pot roast, and meatloaf. But I went for the fried chicken. And they also had a special of shrimp and grits and I was really torn between that too. But fried chicken it was. And the waitress already laid down the laws. Maria's out there and Promise is already breaking them. Look at her elbows on that table. No elbows. Caught. Caught. Caught red-handed. I have it on video. She I'm going to show her. What about elbow? <laughs> she did say elbows. Yeah, Single so elbow. That might be okay there. <laughs> Dinner and a show. It's always a show with Maria. <laughs> She's still going. <laughs> we do almost well, have a private one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she, she's getting us hyped up. I'm I don't so think excited. that's it. No, it's like, can you tell us our first time out in like months? <laughs> the main <laughs> attractions have arrived. Oh my god, this is absolutely huge. This is like the size of a giant. Yeah, this is insane. Okay, so Promise, Maria, and I got the peanut butter and jelly milkshake. They're oh, yeah, famous for these here. And we got it with vanilla vodka, and these guys already tasted them. It's good? So good, and it's like freezing cold on my hands in the best way possible. And you get a giant straw with your giant milkshake. Well, cheers, oh, guys. Cheers. cheers. All right, so this is the peanut butter and jelly milkshake. I said I got it with vanilla vodka. And please look at the size of this. It is the size of my head. It is huge. And so I guess it's vanilla ice cream with peanut butter, jelly, and then the vodka. This is so freaking good. I did not think I would like it as much as I do. But that peanut butter flavor, I don't really taste much jelly. What I really taste is the peanut butter. So good. So when you do the Fantasmic dining package, here at Primetime, it's $51. You get an appetizer or dessert, 
a non-alcoholic beverage, so Coke products, and then your entree. So whichever one you get, whatever you get, it's always going to be $51. I think each restaurant has their own individual price, and I chose the appetizer. You guys know I'm a savory person, so the appetizer is what I went with. Oh my gosh. Look at this appetizer that I got. This is a fried garlic and herb cheese. It's a portion cheese, flash fried. We've got some bread, grapes, apples, and some raspberry sauce under there. Oh my gosh. I already started digging in here, guys. Please look at this puck of fried cheese. It is so creamy and delicious. Eating it with the apples and that bit of raspberry sauce there, oh my gosh. I'd, I'd definitely say this is a must-get app here. The entrees have arrived. I decided to go with the fried chicken. It comes with mashed potatoes and gravy, corn, we've got some shrimp and grits, the chicken pom pie, that looks really good, promise. Dude, it's like a deconstructed chicken pom pie. It looks oh so good. And then we have the salmon and the sampler over here. All right, I'm already into this fried chicken here. And I gotta say, I think this is the second best fried chicken that you can get at Disney World. Number one, homecoming for sure at Disney Springs. That is the best. But I say this is number two, it's really good. I have tried everything now and I like the shrimp and grits. I think they're good. That is the special of the day. But I think between my fried chicken and Promises Chicken Pot Pie, those are the two winners here. Yep. They're both really good. Winner, winner, chicken, dinner. Woo! We are done with dinner and we've got to go. We're cutting it real close. We got to get our spots for Fantasmic. We've got our little cards for our VIP seating and I'm going to show you guys the view that we get from doing this. It is snowing as we head on in and got our tickets we're here for the dining package so this line is for us it is a packed house in here and i know we are arriving a little bit late it's about 7 10 and the show starts at 7 30 so i would have liked to get here a little bit earlier ideally but we do have reserved seats so we should be somewhere in the middle we'll see how the, our seats are probably not going to be the best since we are here a little late but nonetheless i am psyched we found our spot. Pretty much the whole middle section here is roped off for the dining package. And for getting here so late, we are quite literally front center. Wait till you see this view. Bam. Now this is a view. I think I'm, I'm dead center here. We are in the, the third row, nice and close, just how I like it. And I cannot wait. Fantastic is my favorite. Now, I am not gonna show you guys too much of the show or really much at all, but pretty much this whole middle section here is roped off for us with the dining package and I guess you don't need to get here super early because we got here 20 minutes before the show and here we are really good spot now if you guys are planning to come see Fantasmic on your vacation there are currently two showings and I believe there probably will be through the holiday season and the second showing happens there tends to usually be the least crowded so if you guys are gonna see Fantasmic without doing the dining package I recommend going to the second showing a little bit less crowded the first one everyone kind of wants to see it and get out of here so it's going to always be a little bit busier what did you think did you think the value of the dining package was worth it yes I do because I do like being in the splash zone, which if you don't want to be in the splash zone, first three rows. Maria, what do you think? Worth it? Oh yeah. Especially you were doing the calculations and literally the cost of the what we bought would have been equal to what we did. I love this show. I could literally watch it every night and I watched it yesterday, came again today amazing show and i do think the dining package is definitely worth it we totally got our money's worth i did the calculations my meal at um 50 prime time would have been like 44 dollars for everything so it's only like seven dollars extra to get this great view of fantasmic that we had so totally worth it in my opinion what a fun night here in hollywood studios we tried some new foods we did the fantasmic dining package which like i said totally worth it. I really enjoyed my meal at prime time as well. I'm going to put the link to my friend's YouTube channels here in the description. I'll put the link to You Can Fly Travels in the description as well. So if you guys want to book your vacation with them, you can do that. They hosted me out for the Fantasmic Dining Package tonight, so I really appreciate that. And thank you guys for watching. Be on the lookout for the next one.